hey guys welcome back to my channel happy 4th of july and today we're gonna do walk around my uh, e36 here as you guys can see uh just a little garage update just checking out some wheels and some body lines and uh, the fender rust uh just kind of being scraped off and mudded over a little bit but it's uh the end of the day it was a track car so i really didn't care much about it as you can see a little bit on the trunk also was a uh, rusty spots that were taken care of and the car inside is gutted there's nothing on the inside besides the seats strut towers were welded previously before i purchased the vehicle they a little crispy on there but uh they were holding pretty good the back panel underneath the seal that was rusted also fixed scraped off mudded just a uh, basic spray underneath the vehicle is decent it's not that bad a boiler muffler in the back with a single exhaust coming out and on the interior uh, there's not really not, not much on the interior but uh half the dashboard up and uh let's give it a cold start see how she sounds there you go let's get the fan on window switches I placed them up in the dash so easier to access this rumble sounds really nice the exhaust is really nice it's a 3 inch with headers the engine is really nice it runs perfectly turn the fan off so we can hear the tone of the engine fan back on before the car gets hot a little bit at least it's electric fan so it's powered by the switch excuse all the zip ties up front a little rock chips that was from the track it was abused the paint job is not really nice on it but at least the rust is gone for now the roof was a little rusty also got mudded cleaned Don't mind the E90 back there, it's just getting his uh, brakes worked on. As you can see, all the way in the back, uh, and a bunch of little rock chips over the hood over the time. car looks pretty decent overall for a 95 year, 95 
model, E36. I'm sure I've seen better days before, but for being a 25-year-old vehicle, I think it's in decent shape. 